Hello, everybody. This is going to be a quick demo on work span, also known as uh, critical path length and ideal parallelism. So let's start off with work and span. Uh, work is just the total amount of work that you have to do in your entire program. Um, and it's just that simple. Uh, the span or critical path length um, is the amount of work on a path of dependencies. So like on, in your computation graph, the longest or the path with the most, most work on it. Um, what follows along with this is ideal parallelism. That's you know sort of the work divided by the span. So even given infinite processors, um, if you have a, a path through your graph that uh, has a certain amount of work on it, uh, you're never you're always going to have to wait on that. So uh, even with infinite processors, sort of bounded by this work divided by span. And so let's talk about a really quick program that has a fork and uh, join in it. And you know each, the, the sort of left, right, half and half, this one has a little bit more work, 1,001 work, and this one has 1,000. Um, the critical path length would go from here to the larger side and then here. I've put a little bit of uh, work on fork and join. Um, we'll talk about why this is important. This is kind of nice. These uh, two are you know, sort of dominating the work here. Each has about 1,000. And so if you look at our work, it's the total of everything, right? 1,001 plus 1,000 plus 10 plus 30 is you know, 2,031. The span is the longest path. So that's um, 10 plus 1,001 plus 20. That's uh, 1,031. And our ideal parallelism is you know, this over that. So uh, we're looking pretty close to two because these two numbers are high. And so um, we're like 1.97, pretty close to two. Obviously, uh, it doesn't matter if it's the spawn edge or the continuation edge. Right, uh, it's going to come out with the same values, right? Like it's just the longest uh, path through, no matter what. Now, um, if you had something where you know there was on over here we forked a task that did 100 work, 100 work, 100 work, and you wanted to draw it out this way, it doesn't really matter because um, this is 300 total and this is 400, so this is going to be the most work of a path. Um, in this case, you know 730 is the total work in the entire thing. You pretty much pick up pretty quickly. Uh, 700 work in here. And again, our fork and join, just sort of assign 10 and 20 to the work to that. And every one of the graphs I'm going to show you, um, you know, that's an extra 30 work, 730. The span is 430. Our ideal parallelism is coming around at 1.7. 1, 1. Um, if we have less work on this side and, you know, three tasks over here are each 100 and this one's 200, then this is obviously the longest path because three 100s is greater than 200. And so uh, you can sort of see the work and span there. Um, if you have something where you have a, like an incredibly tiny amount of work in here and, you know, fork and join have this sort of constant 10 or 20 amount of work, for example, the hypotenuse example I showed you right away, um, now fork and join are sort of dominating all of our performance here. Like our ideal parallelism is dropping to one. And what's worse is like this thing is running worse than sequential, right? I have 31 total work on my critical path length. If I just did this sequentially, um, I'd have this lovely like one, one. Now our ideal parallelism is theoretically worse. It's only one, um, but it doesn't really matter because the span or work of this is like lower than the span of this guy. This is why if you don't have enough work in here, um, you can actually run slower than sequential by uh, doing this sort of fork join situation. Um, and that's obviously not what we want. Uh, of course, the ideal situation is something like the uh, transcontinental railroad. I just sort of put in uh, six years worth of work is 6 million work. Um, and this is fantastic. This is, you know, like uh, 12 million work, 6 million, 30, you know, 12 million, 36 million, 30. We're just right there at uh, two on our ideal parallelism. This is the kind of thing that we're looking for, uh, at least when you're only making two tasks. Um, and so again, to review, um, ideal parallelism is sort of the best you can hope for. It's a metric that sort of shows that. Um, and, you know, uh, if the work is the total amount of work, the span is the amount of work on the longest, you know, the path with the most work on it. Then this ideal parallelism is bound by, you know, a work divided by span. And that makes sense because, you know, even if you have independent processors, if you have some long path through it, um, that's going to bound your perf potential performance improvement. And so um, with that, I hope uh, this helps to explain work span, also known as critical path length and ideal parallelism.